Hey there, I'm Ben Jordan, and I've done a lot of research and testing on acoustic weapons. I feel like I'm at an AA meeting. For example, here's one that you could put in a room and it'll just destroy any cell phone. So in the last eight hours alone, dozens of people have reached out to me, sending me information and videos about the Serbian protests last night. And it does look strange indeed. I've also heard rumors about sound making balconies fall off buildings and stuff like that. Although that doesn't seem very plausible based on the information that I've seen. So first of all, obviously sonic weapons and long range acoustic devices can damage your hearing or even deafen you if they're powerful enough. There is a pretty convenient way to lessen the effect on yourself. Just bring a sign to a protest with thin car cardboard or paper and hold it in between yourself and the sonic weapon. It'll effectively turn the paper into a speaker, which is still pretty unpleasant, but it's indirect rather than direct. Earplugs can't hurt, although they're not generally tested for high frequencies. However, AirPods or something with noise cancelling can help in some cases. Hearing is by far the most sensitive of our senses. Sonic pressure itself is actually pretty weak. For example, the most usable wattage or power that I could harness from a deafening amount of sound was just lighting this little LED light. The amount of energy required for a sound generation device to rupture organs or something like that is literally more than the entire country of Serbia is using at any given time. But on the other hand, a confused and terrified crowd trying to quickly disperse an area is absolutely life-threatening, and it's one of the many reasons why police should not be using sonic weapons under any circumstances. Do me a favor, be safe, and calmly protect your hearing or leave the affected area.